I promise I'll do better, Mr. Hormer. Sure you will. I just, I just love television so much. We all do. Oh, I don't believe in hypothetical situations, Mr. Donaghy. That's like lying to your brain. I don't drink coffee, sir. I don't drink hot liquids of any kind. That's the devil's temperature. Reverend Gary did the math, and guess what? The world is ending tomorrow. And you're happy about that? Oh, of course. I get to go to heaven and receive my reward. 72 virgin margaritas. Hold the salt. If you're not reading the Bible in German, you're not getting the real versteckte Bedeutung of it. OK. A parcel man has never been called Mr. outside of an execution chamber. There are only two things I love in this world, everybody and television. What's your dream job? Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Well, you know how much I love television, sir. So I guess my dream would be to one day run the network. <laughs> Just kidding. There won't be a network. But whatever people are watching, I want to be in charge of it. Do you know why I put up with this pitiful job, Mr. Donaghy? Why I fetch these folks lunches and clean up their barfs? Because they make television. And more than jazz or musical theater or morbid obesity, television is the true American art form. Think of all the shared experiences television has provided for us, from the moon landing, to the Golden Girls finale, from Walter Cronkite denouncing Vietnam, to Oprah pulling that trash bag of fat out in a wagon, from the glory and the pageantry of the Summer Olympics to the less fun Winter Olympics. So please, don't tell me I don't have a dream, sir. I am living my dream. Oh, my. How'd he get that up there? There's no business like show business like no business I know. Everything about it is appealing. Everything the traffic will allow. Nowhere can you get that special feeling than when you're stealing that extra bow. Miss Lemon. Yeah. This is Pete's wedding ring. I won it last night, but I don't think I should keep it. Could you give it back to him for me? Yeah, okay. Did you win this, too? I did. I love how the light catches it like diamonds. Kenneth, it is diamonds. Ah, hi, Mr. Donaghy. Can I help you with something? You are a puzzle, Kenneth Allen. And I'm going to solve you. Yes, I am. Sometimes life is complicated. There isn't always a right answer. Say you're in a lifeboat. You're on a lifeboat. Uh, Kenneth, a word? Balloon! Good morning, Mr. Donaghy. Go to hell! No, thank you. <laughs> Time to die. We're both hard workers. When I was your age, I was putting myself through college in Boston, paddling swan boats for the tourists. Is that a euphemism for some kind of sex worker? Search. Oops. I just took my picture with that little camera thing. Kenneth. All right. I just need to erase that picture. Whoops, I just made it the desktop image. How did I do that? Emailing image to address book. What is wrong with me? Oh, I just took a picture of both of us. How do you do it, Kenneth? How do you sit here every day taking crap from people and you keep smiling? My mother always told me that even when things seem bad, there's someone else who's having a worse day, like being stung by a bee or getting a splinter or being chained to a wall in someone's sex dungeon. Kenneth, I wonder what it's like seeing the world through your eyes. I don't know, Mr. Donaghy. I think I see the world pretty much the same as everyone else. Really? Because I think you're very special, Kenneth. Pardon me. To be able to get so much joy from simple things. Simple things. Simple things. Kenneth, why did you bet that terrible hand? Why? Because. I believe that life is for the living. I believe in taking risks and biting off more than you can chew. And also, people are yelling, and I got confused about the rules. Who is it? It's Kenneth from the NBC Page program. I'm here for a pickup from Kieran Dang. Uh, hello, gentlemen. Ah, oh, thank goodness, air conditioning. Ooh, what does that tattoo mean? When I get nervous, I ask a lot of questions. Do y'all have a bathroom I could use? Y'all have long fingernails. Now, do y'all rent this space or do you own it? Hey, that's a funny looking fish. 
What is that? Like a grapefruit knife? Do you have a cell phone? What's your plan? Hey, they didn't bring any sodas. I'll call Kenneth. Seriously, where is Kenneth? Happy anniversary, Mrs. Jordan. Excuse me, do y'all just have noodles with butter? You know what we've never done, Grizz? Fight each other. Sorry, sorry. That happens sometimes when I unhinge my pelvis. Ken, you don't want to be a page forever. Who said I've been alive forever? What? Kenneth's the best. He knows what I want before I do. Who's hungry? I want waffles. Go get help, girl. Ah, help, I know Monk. That's a mirror, Kenneth. Oh, that's not right. Abba. Ah, oh, but. Mr. Abba. Baker, we need to talk. Now's not a great time, Kenneth. I don't need anything. Sir, this time, I need something from you. You've poisoned Mr. Jordan's and Miss Maroney's minds. You've got to tell them to go back to the way it was, to let me help everyone again, including you. Kenneth, I don't. Yes. You do, because you're scared and frustrated. Of course I am, because I'm going on TV tomorrow and I don't know what I'm doing. Yes, embrace your anger. What? You, you know, of all the weirdos I've met around here, you're the worst with your creepy Don Knotts face, that ridiculous Hitler youth haircut. Excellent. What about my chin? What about your chin, Kenneth? I've seen bigger chins on a premature baby. Mr. Baker, you've just made me feel terrible and said the word about correctly. Congratulations. You're an actor. About. About. Oh my god. Thank you, Kenneth. Oh, there you are, Leo. Boy, I am still not comfortable calling you by your first name. But then again, you've never been comfortable calling me by my full Christian name. Kenneth. Oh no. Kenneth is short for Androma Kenneth Amblesorton. I have some real problems with this Law and Order SBU script. We can't say Dick Wolf on TV. The Italians have a saying, Lemon. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. And although they've never won a war or mass produced a decent car, in this area, they are correct. In five years, we'll all either be working for him or be dead by his hand. 